Hey guys, it's Shamsa and welcome back to my channel. Now, the recipe that I'm about to share with you all today is my mutton chapli kebab recipe. So let me run through the ingredients with you quickly and then we'll start cooking. So the ingredients you're going to need are 500 grams of mince. I'm using mutton, you can use lamb or beef if you wish. I've got oil when we fry the kebabs. Uh, I've got one medium onion which I've blitzed with three green chilies and just placed it in this little strainer and strained out all the water. I've got four tablespoons of besom which is gram flour. I've got two tomatoes which I've sliced into half an inch um, thick pieces and I have a heaped teaspoon of the following ingredients. I've got salt, coriander powder and garam masala and I have one and a half tablespoons of the following cumin seeds and coriander seeds which I've crushed coarsely and I've got a teaspoon of dried chilli flakes and half a teaspoon of turmeric powder so let's start cooking. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add all our ingredients into the lamb mince so straight in with the onions, the gram flour and all the spices so coriander powder sorry, garam masala, coriander powder, salt, cumin seeds and the coriander seeds, chilli flakes and the turmeric powder and we're just going to give this a good mix. The gram flour acts as a binding agent so the kebabs won't break when we make them. Now that that's mixed up, what we're going to do is we're going to cover that with cling film and just leave that to rest for an hour and then we're going to make our kebabs. So guys, my mince has had time to rest and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a really easy way to form your kebabs. So for that you need any kind of lid. I'm using a Lancashire Farm yoghurt top. You can use whatever lid you've got available, uh, whatever size, but you've got to bear in mind that the kebabs when you fry them will shrink. So you want to start off with sort of like a bigger size kebab. Um, you also need a bowl of cold water and we've got our tomatoes to hand as well. And we need some cling film. So all we do first of all is we place our cling film just like that on top of the, uh, the lid that we're using. Slightly wet your hands and then go in and take a nice amount of meat and then all we're doing is we're just pushing this down like that to form our kebab and this will give you even sort of like kebabs they won't be misshaped they'll all be the same size just take a bit more and use as much as you need to to form the kebab but I just feel that this is really one of the most easiest ways to make kebabs and they're all uniform, they've got, they're all the same size and they look pretty once they're made. And then what you want to do, once your kebab is ready, I'm just going to lift up the um, cling film and just remove that kebab and just place it on some greaseproof paper and then continue to make all of my kebabs and then we'll fry them. And that's my last one. So there we have it. All the kebabs are done and now we're going to fry them. So my pan's nice and hot and I'm going to start by adding some oil into this. We are shallow frying these but we need to have around about four tablespoons of oil. And just get that really nice and hot and have it on a medium to low flame. And I'm going to very gently drop the kebabs into that. And then just top that with a tomato and just slightly press it in like that. And I probably fit three in there, give or take. Because they will shrink. There we are. And then just pop that on top and just allow them to cook. 
for about three to four minutes uh, on that side and then we'll flip them. So now we're going to flip the kebabs. So just gently go under and then turn over. Just pop the um, tomato. If it slides off, just pop it underneath. Try and get it in the middle. And just push down a little. Flip these over now. Perfect. They're done. And I'm just going to remove them and pop them onto a plate and just continue frying the rest of them. So guys, here it is. The chapli kebab is ready. So let me try this and tell you exactly how it is. Mmm. Mmm. That's so good. So soft. Mmm. That's really soft. Mmm. I've got all the flavour coming through from all of the spices that we've added. The hit of the coriander seeds and the cumin seeds in there just made that wow. It's super silky as well. It's so soft. It's mutton, but it's so soft. Oh, wow. Mmm. Honestly, killer. Honestly, really, really good. You've got to try the recipe out. Now, this is so easy. You can make this at home. We have all the spices available in our kitchen, so there's no excuse not to make these. Try the recipe out, guys. Let me know how you find it. Now, if you found it helpful, do give it a thumbs up and also share, comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done and also hit that bell button to be notified when a new video goes live. I'm going to be back here again with another one very soon. Till then, take care and happy eating.